This video is sponsored by Skillshare. More about this later in the video. So in this video, I'll make this simple 2D drawing in the sketch environment of Fusion 360. So this is kind of a very simple drawing, but it needs a lot of different kind of constraints. And that's the whole idea behind using this kind of drawing where we just need to use constraints quite a lot. So let's get started. So here is the drawing and I'll start in the sketch environment. So the first thing that I'll do here is I'll go to the sketch, select one of the planes. In this case, any plane is just fine. I'll select front and there we are. Now we can start making this. So the first thing that I'll do here is I'll start with circles. So I'll go to circle. I'll select this origin and I'll make the first and the second circle. Okay, now these are the circle on the bottom left corner of this drawing. So I'll start constraining it. So I'll type D for dimension. And then the first one here is a diameter of four unit. There we are. And then we have the second one of diameter two. So we've got both the circles here. So diameter four and diameter two. Now similarly, we'll make the second one. So I'll go to circle and somewhere here, I'll make the second set of concentric circles and in this case also we have two different dias so diameters so i'll just press d and i'll select the first one and this diameter is 2.8 the radius is 1.4 as you can see and then we have the second one so in this case oops i just selected the same circle so i'll select the one which is inside here and this one is 1.6 so there we are, we've got both of these. Now the second thing here is constraining this because the position of this concentric set of circle is not constrained. So I'll go to D again, I'll select this point and this point and this vertical distance is 20 unit. Now the horizontal distance is seven. Now, if you are wondering why this horizontal distance is seven, then that's right here. Just let me first add it. So I'll type seven and now if you look at this drawing, you can clearly see that it is just passing through this center line. So the center of the circle is passing through this center line and this entire length is 14. So if it is passing through the center line, then it's definitely going to be half of that length, which is seven. So that's the idea behind using seven unit here. Okay, so now these two are fully constrained. We are ready to add the first rectangle. So let's go to rectangle here and I'll add the rectangle again quite randomly like this. Maybe I'll add the second rectangle as well right inside this. Okay, now let's add more dimensions. The first one is, well, I'll type D from this point to this point. And that distance is 19. So 19, enter. Then we have the second one from this point to this. And this distance, as you can see, is 17. And now we just need to add the third one, which is from this to this. And this length is 14. There we are. Okay. Now we just need to add more geometric constraints. So I'll just zoom into this area. Now this line and this they are collinear. So I'll select this line and this point and I'll select coincident. So they are along the same line now. Okay, so that's done. Now let's add more constraints. So I'll type D and now this offset gap is two units. So let's just type two here. This gap is also two and this gap is already two. So I'm not going to do anything here. Okay. So we are almost done with this part of the drawing. Let's finish adding fillets here also. So I'll just zoom into this area and I'll go to trim. Let's trim this and this, this as well. Now in these two corners, I'm going to add fillet. So I'll go to fillet and this fillet radius is seven. So I'll type seven, enter. Then again, fillet here. So fillet and this radius, as you can see, is three. There we are. We've added this as well. Okay, so that's done. Now the next one is this part of the drawing. Now this is the most tricky part, of course, of this drawing. So in this case, before we do that, let's first constrain this internal geometry here. So I'm just gonna add one more dimensional constraint. So I'll type D and from this point to this line, the length is three units. So here it is, it's constrained. And let's add the fillets as well. And then we'll add details here. 
So I'll go to fillet. Now these three radii are exactly the same. That's of radius two unit as you can see. So radius two and enter. Now here we have more details to add. So let's just go to this part of the drawing line tool. And first I'll just add a line like this. And now again, the dimension constraints so type D and from this line to this point, the distance is four. And similarly, from this point to this line, the distance is four. Okay, so we are done now. And we just need to trim it. So trim and let's just get rid of these two. Now we need to add a circle. As you can see, the circle has its origin right here on this line, somewhere on this line. So I'm just going to add it randomly. I'm not adding it exactly on this point, though you can, but for now, let's not do that. So I'll just add it randomly like this. And I'm doing it on purpose because I want the center of this circle to coincide with the midpoint here. So I'll select the center of the circle, then I'll select this line and I'll select midpoint constraint. Now it's exactly on the midpoint. Okay, and we know the radius. This is four. So let's type D and the radius is four. So the diameter should be eight. So eight, enter, done. And we just need to trim it. So trim, we don't need this part of the drawing. We don't need this, 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 or this part of the drawing. And finally, two more fillets. So fillet, this one, this one, and the radii is two. So there we are. Okay, so this part of the drawing is complete and you can see everything is in black, which means the drawing is fully constrained. We just need to add this part of the drawing now. And this is the most tricky part, of course, of this drawing. So let's just move uh, along this part of the drawing. So I'll just move it up slightly, this part of the drawing here, so that it just intersects this. Now this is just random but automatically it will take the proper shape once we add the remaining constraints. So the first thing that I'll do here is this. I'll go to trim and I'll trim this line here and I'll trim this line as well. Actually, that's the circle. So I'll just trim these two so that we have this kind of gap here. Now with that gap, we are now ready to, well, add details. So first thing is this line. Let's select and delete. Okay, done. Now I'll go to create arc three point arc and I'm going to add an arc quite randomly and as you can see I just added it in a random way now I'll add constraints so maybe I'll just move it slightly here okay now it should be just towards right side from the center point so you can just do this thing approximately for now because we'll add constraint to make it proper so after that I'll select this arc and I'll select this line and I'll select tangent these two are tangent let's repeat it so this arc and this one and tangent, that's tangent too. Okay, so these two are now tangent. Let's just move it even further here. Okay, so that it touches this thing exactly like this and this should also touch it. So I'll just move it further down here. There we are. So now this thing is completely touching it. So it should touch both of these geometries and then type D and add the radius. The so radius is seven. So seven, enter. Okay. There we are. So it's done. Now you can see that the arc length is really huge. You just need to trim it. So let's do it. So go to trim. We don't need this. We don't need this. And we don't need this part of the arc. And actually we don't even need this part and this part. So this part of the drawing is complete. Now we can move to this part of the drawing. Okay, now what do we have here? So here we have a radius of four unit. So let's add that fillet first. So fillet, this edge, and the radius is four, enter. So pretty basic, right? Okay, then we have a radius of one unit here. So let's just go to fillet, this one, and the radius is one unit. Okay, again done. But we have several problems here. Actually, just one. This drawing is not constrained here. It should be fully constrained, right? So the thing is, this center and this one, they are exactly along horizontal line. As you can see, we have the geometry here, construction geometry that indicates the same thing. So I'll just select these two. So control select these two and click on this horizontal vertical. Now they are perfectly horizontal. Okay, done. Now the next thing is this straight line. There is one straight line as well here. So this should be horizontal too. So select this horizontal line. 
which is not yet horizontal but just select this line and click on horizontal vertical now that's horizontal and we are done so now this fully constrained our drawing now in order to just check this thing you can grab any of these geometries and try moving it and as you can see if it is fully constrained it won't move and also this drawing is completely black so black indicates a completely fully constrained geometry and that's how you can make this 2d drawing now you can also convert this 2d drawing into 3d but before we do that here is a quick word from the sponsor of this video skillshare if you are planning to learn new skills like photoshop illustrator photography creative writing animation and even fusion 360 then skillshare is a great place to start and when it comes to learning Fusion 360, there are many courses, but the one which I particularly liked is Learn Fusion 360 in 30 Days for Complete Beginner by Kevin Kennedy. Now, this one is a fairly comprehensive course, taking you through the basics of the software right from scratch and up to a pro level. To start learning now, just click the link in the description. The first 1000 people to click the link in the description of this video will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. And then you can opt for monthly subscription or annual subscription, which will cost you less than $10 per month with annual plan. So click the link down below to get started. Now back to the video. So this is our 2D drawing and we have done this thing completely. Now I'll just convert it quickly into 3D. I'll simply extrude this one. So to do that, I'll click on finish a sketch, extrude. I'll select this island here and now I'll just here and I'll just add a height, maybe a height of uh, let's say two unit. So I'll just move it here and that's 2mm and okay, there we are. That's our, well, 3D part. So in this way, you can make this 2D sketch in Fusion 360. So I hope you like this video. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to share this video as well. I'll see you soon in another one.